body is racked with pain and your health you can't regain bring your needs to jesus take them to the lord in prayer whatsoever you shall say will be yours when you ask in faith put a name on your need and claim it in jesus name praise the lord pray that you have put a blessing Amen. And a name on your blessing and name it and claim it in Jesus' name. Believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. We thank God for you tuning in to another broadcast of the Word Ministries. Hosted by yours truly, I am Pastor Billy Bedford. It is an honor to be before you. We're thankful and grateful to God for all of his goodness and his many blessings. We thank God for the station here at WIL-TV 47 located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama. We thank God for this station and all of the affiliates uh, that keep this station uh for you to view, and I'm thankful and grateful to God for all of these that work here. Amen, Brother Jimmy Dale Abrams. Amen, Brother Eric, Brother Robert. Amen, Brother Vince. We thank God for all of you, amen, that tune into this station where the Word of God goes forth, wonderful programs, amen, coming from this, and I'm thankful and grateful to you. All of you out there, amen, in this land and country all over the world, we're thankful and grateful to you, our Facebook viewers, our YouTube viewers. We're thankful and grateful for all of you, and we're just honored, amen, to be in the presence of you, amen, today. We're thankful and grateful to God for another day. The psalmist says, this is the day that he has made. Let us rejoice and be glad that they're in. I'm so grateful to God for his goodness and his manifold blessings that he bestow upon our lives. Truly, amen. God is blessing us and we're thankful and grateful to you. Amen. We pray God's blessings upon each of you. Amen. I pray in agreement with you that things will be well in your life. Glory to God. God desires that we prosper and be in health, even as our soul shall prosper. He said, I come that you might have life and life more abundantly. And if you're going through a situation right now, Jesus has told us that we can cast all of our care upon him for he cares for us. Amen. If you're carrying a heavy load, feel like the word of the world is on your shoulder and you're holding on to some excessive bondage and some burden. Jesus said, come unto me, all of you who labor and all of you who are heavy laden and that he will give us rest. Told us to take his yoke upon him, learn of him, for his yoke is easy and his burdens they are light. Praise the name of God. Even when our heart overwhelms us, we got someone that we can go to. Amen. David said, when Lord, when my heart overwhelms me, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Where is that rock? Amen. David said, I look to the hills from which cometh my help. Amen. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which comes my help. My help comes from the Lord which made the heaven and earth. Paul said, look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. And that is Jesus Christ. Amen. I find him to be a rock in a weary land. I find him to be a shelter in the time of a storm. And we can go to him any time, night or day. Praise the name of God. Amen. I come to you to pray in agreement with you. The Bible says what two or three are gathered together in my name. There am I in the midst. Amen. So we're going to come together and pray. Amen. We're going to pray in agreement, whether it's sickness, whether it's finances, whether it's a situation you're going through, whether you don't know how a certain situation or circumstance is going to come out. I pray in agreement with you. Amen. That all be well. Praise the name of God. And I just pray God's blessings and you. You pray for me. I pray for you. The songwriter says, amen, I know God answers prayer. Amen. And truly, he does answer prayer. The Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous 
righteous man availeth much. He told us to pray without ceasing. Amen. And that man always ought to pray and not faint. Don't give up, my brother. Don't give up, my sister. Hang in now. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Let's go to the throne of grace in prayer. Amen. Make our request known unto God. Amen. Grandmama said it like this. Call him up and tell him what you want. He's on the main line. Amen. If you want your body healed, call him up and tell him what you want. If you want your soul saved, call him up and tell him what you want. Amen. Jesus on the main line, call him up and tell him what you want. Praise the name of God. Let us go to him in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Father, we stretch our hands to you, for there is no other help we know. If you withdraw yourself from us, whether shall we go? We come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Some need one thing, some need another. Some need a way made, some carrying a heavy load. Some, God, are just in need of you and don't know which way to turn. Lord, I thank you right now for knowing that you will supply all of our need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now for coming to you as an empty pitcher before a full fountain. Fill our cups and let it overflow. We pray for the sick ones, those in the hospitals, nursing homes, those that are just ailing in their body. I pray in agreement for healing. Those that are just facing some hard situations. Father, in Jesus' name, touch the needs of these your people. God, I come as your servant in Jesus' name. I present myself, I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, to not conform myself to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of my mind, that I may prove that which is good and acceptable, the perfect will of God. I go before you right now, God. I stand in your name. I stand as a representative of you, as the body of Christ. I pray for the anointing. I thank you for forgiveness of all our sins and cleansing us from all unrighteousness. Lord, I thank you right now for your blood that you shed on Calvary. I thank you, Lord, for dying for our sins that we all might have a right to the tree of life. Thank you, God, for rising the third day according to the scriptures with all power in heaven and earth in your hand. Thank you for being so good. Thank you for being so compassionate, so loving, so forgiving, so kind, so merciful. We thank you right now, God. I pray, God, if there's any veering that are not saved, touch their hearts and minds. Let them know, God, that that salvation is a free gift available to all mankind. Oh, I thank you right now. I thank you right now. Thank you right now for answering our prayer, healing the sick, saving the lost souls. I thank you right now across this world that you're able to touch hearts. You're able to anoint this message. You're able to anoint this vessel of clay as I give myself over to you. Help me to rightly divide the word of truth. Help me to speak that which is sound doctrine and word my lips with the oracles of truth. Now, Lord, I pray, God, that it fall on good grounds Lord, I thank you right now. I thank you. Let it spring to life everlasting. I thank you for your word, God. Let it touch countless lives. Let it touch souls and hearts and minds. In the name of Jesus, let it change lives. Let it change the course of this world. And I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God.
Julie, we're thankful and grateful to God again for his goodness. Thank God for an opportunity to preach his word. The Bible says, by the foolishness of preaching are men saved. Faith come by hearing, and hearing is of the word of God. The scripture in Romans says, how shall they hear without the preacher? And how shall he preach except they be sent? And I pray, God, that, amen, I have been sent to deliver this word to the body of Christ all over the world today. We thank you right now for your power. We thank you for your anointing, God. It's in Jesus' name. We're grateful. Today we want to talk about survival. When you think about survival, it's, it's an act of uh, living or, or existing. And when I say living or existing, I'm talking about living and existing in spite of an accident an ordeal or a circumstance that you've been through. Survival, amen. Living, existing in spite of, in spite of everything you've been through, in spite of everything you're going through, in spite of what lies ahead of us. Survival, praise the name of God. And we're going to talk about Apostle Paul, who can relate to survival. For he went through a lot of things after giving his life to Jesus Christ. But he knew the key to survival. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning at verse number 23. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors, more abundant. In stripes, above measure. In prisons, more frequent. In deaths, oft. Of the Jews, five times I received Forty stripes, say one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I suffered shipwreck. I spent a night and a day in the deep. In journeyings often. In perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the brethren, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, fastings often, cold, nakedness, beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is offended, and I burn not? If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern <coughs> my infirmities. The God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is blessed forever, nor that I lie not. Praise the name of God. God's recipe for survival. God's recipe for survival. In this life, we will encounter some things. We will go through some things. We will face some challenges, <clears throat> some hills, some mountains, some storms, some pains, some losses, some setbacks, some disappointments, even betrayals and being denied. Amen. And going through all of those things, 
Amen. There is going to come a need for survival. Survival is an act of living or existing in spite of an accident. That's someone looking today. You've been in car accidents. You, you, you've uh, had children that have been in car accidents. Amen. Uh, the car got totaled, but you're still alive. Survival. Someone looking at me have been in the hospitals. The doctor shook his head. Amen. But you're still here in spite of survival. Some of you have been through some relationships. Amen. Whether it's uh, job related. Family related, praise the name of God, uh, 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 even church related, but you still find ways of survival. Praise the name of God. At the same time about survival, many are throwing in the towel. Many are throwing up their hands and saying, What's the use? Many are giving up. Praise the name of God. All of you that are thinking about throwing in the towel or, or, or considering throwing up your hands and saying, what's the use? You that, that are giving up on life, I want you to be encouraged. God has a recipe for survival. Through many troubles, there's a recipe for survival. You mean as a child of God, I got to have some trouble? Job said it like this, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. Praise the name of God. What is the recipe for survival in a troublesome times? God is. Psalmist says, God is our refuge. God is our strength. And that he is a very present help in trouble. Praise the name of God. He is the one that we go to when we're in need of survival during troublesome times. Even when you go through afflictions, Praise the name of God. And you're going to have them. The psalmist says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But there's a key recipe for survival, and that is, again, the Lord Jesus Christ. For, amen, God will deliver them out of them all. Every affliction that you go through, God has a recipe for your survival. Praise the name of God. Even during times of suffering, you can still survive. Praise the name of God. For Paul said it like this, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that's going to be revealed in us. You mean, amen, there's, a, there's light at the end of the tunnel? Keep on surviving. You're going to find that the darkest hour is just before day. Amen. Praise the name of God. The eyes have not seen, ear have not heard, neither has it entered in the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him. Do you love him today? Praise the name of God. All things work together to the good of them that love God. To them which are called according to his purpose. Amen. Yes, you're going through some things. No, you don't understand why you're going through things. But you'll understand it better by and by. Just keep on surviving. Keep on living. Keep on existing in spite of the accident. In spite of the ordeal. In spite of the circumstance. God has a recipe for 
survival. God has a way of getting us through. Amen. You mean me, even you. There has no temptation which has overtaken you, but such is common to man. But God with the temptation shall make a way of escape. God has a recipe for our survival. God has a way, amen, of keeping us going. Amen. Praise God. You may feel, amen, nobody cares. People take your kindness for weakness. People take you for granted. Amen. How can I survive? Well, the Bible says in Galatians six and nine. Uh, let us not be weary in well doing. Uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. Uh, his ears are open unto their cry. Uh, God see you determined to survive. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, don't be weary in well doing. Uh, in due season uh, we shall reap. Uh, if we find now, if you hold on, keep on surviving through the storm and rain. Keep on surviving through heartache and pain. Everything will be all right. Good God, God is able to carry your heavy load. Keep on surviving. He's able to keep you from falling. Uh, and to present your faultless uh, before the presence of his glory uh, with exceeding joy. Uh, they said you wouldn't make it. Uh, they said uh, you wouldn't amount to anything. Uh, but God, uh, but God, uh, he brought you through. Uh, I'm glad uh, we serve a God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, that look beyond uh, all our faults. Huh? He sees huh? our every need. Huh? He sees huh? your determination. Huh? He sees huh? your commitment to him. Huh? He won't huh? let you fall. Huh? Lean on him. Huh? To trust in him. Huh? Not to your own understanding, huh? but trust huh? in the Lord. Huh? In all of your ways, huh? acknowledge him. Uh, he will, uh, he shall, uh, he's going to uh, direct your path. Uh, hold on, uh, good God. Uh, God uh, has a recipe uh, for survival. Uh, if you look at uh, the life uh, of Apostle Paul, uh, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah. Uh, in his lifetime, uh, he was bitten uh, on the head hand uh, by a viper. Uh, what did he do uh, to survive? Uh, he shook it off. Uh, he shook it off. Uh, what is that telling us? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, light on. Uh, shake it off. Uh, talked about. Uh, shake it off. Uh, ridiculed. Uh, shake it off. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, feel like the weight of the world uh, is on your your shoulder. Huh? Shake it off. Huh? God huh? is able huh? to carry huh? your heavy load. Huh? He's able huh? to see you through. Huh? He has a recipe huh? for survival. Huh? Whatever you're going through. Huh? Sickness. Huh? Shake it off. Huh? Financial difficulty. Huh? Shake it off. Huh? God huh? has a recipe huh? for your survival. Huh? Not only ha, was he bitten on the hand ha, by a viper, ha, he was, ha, people were at him. Ha, he had ha, to be let down a wall ha, in a basket, ha, but he escaped ha, on the waters ha, of a shipwreck. Ha, he escaped. Ha, good God. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, he said ha, in this lesson today, ha, good God Almighty, ha, of the Jews. Huh? I was beaten huh? five times. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? 39 stripes. Huh? Five times. 
Three times uh, I was beaten uh, with rods. Uh, once uh, I was stoned. Uh, three times uh, I suffered shipwreck. Uh, but God, uh, but God uh, brought him through. Uh, he spent a night and a day uh, in the deep. Uh, he went amongst dangers uh, in the wilderness. Uh, dangers uh, in the wilderness. Uh, good God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, False brethren, uh, his own countrymen, uh, good uh, heathen uh, in the city, uh, in the sea, uh, dangers uh, seen, uh, unseen, uh, but you can uh, survive, uh, you can survive, uh, you can make it, you can make it. How do I make it? Through Jesus Christ, you will survive. Through Jesus Christ, you will make it. If he took Apostle Paul through everything that he went through and he caused him to survive, he'll do it for you. Praise the name of God. He is no respected persons. Grandmama said it like this. There is no secret to what God can do for what he done for others. He'll do the same for you. You will make a comeback. You will recover. You will come out victorious. The Bible says that he calls us to always triumph. Hallelujah. If your life feels like it's in survival mode, just keep on trusting in the Lord. Job went through a life of survival. Hallelujah. Job lost all he had and was struck with sickness, sore balls from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Yet, in the midst of an ash pile, I can see Job Surviving, scraping himself, scraping his souls, saying, if a man die, shall he live again? All the day, I'm going to survive. All the day, all the day, through the sickness, through my brokenness, all the day, my appointed time, I'm going to wait upon my change. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Mine upon you like wings of an eagle. You shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. God's recipe for revival. We'll see you again next Sunday at the same time. God bless you and God keep you.